the Primary Years Program, or PYP, we believe language is involved in all aspects of learning through all areas of the curriculum. Literacy, including oral and visual literacy, and the ability to read and write becomes increasingly important as greater demands are placed on learners as participants in the learning process. Our program provides an authentic context for learners to develop and use language. Our teachers plan learning experiences that enable learners to develop language within meaningful and enjoyable contexts. They can make connections, apply their learning, and transfer their conceptual understanding to new situations. Literacy in ECE is a little bit different depending on the age group. So for the young students, for our children in the EY classes, literacy kind of happens very naturally. It comes through the stories that they read as well as the engagements that they have in the classroom. In pre-K, we actually focus a little bit more on some um, direct instruction in English where maybe some of the provocations that we choose will be things that has a specific target or focus that, that we would like them to work on for English. Uh, but still it's very play-based and it's in line with our lines of inquiry and our PYP program. In kindergarten it becomes slightly more formal in the sense that we do have literacy times where we have specific skills and um, kind of outcomes that we are looking to achieve with our students. So some of the things that we do is that we have our guided reading. We also have um, the teachers divide students into different groups where they focus on a specific area that helps them to develop their literacy skills. And of course, we also engage in a lot of um, read alouds and opportunities for them to learn through that. A typical literacy lesson in lower school is quite an active thing. We start in first and second grade about learning mechanics of reading and writing, um, how to decode sounds and how to write these so that we can fully express ourselves as well. Okay, that is going to be your sentence starter, so that's what you're going to be using today. Do we think that we should follow the 575 syllable pattern. Do we have that? Yeah. yeah. El elephant can make loud sound. Is that seven? Okay. Big ear and short tail. Is that five? So does he have a five seven? Is he a glow or a grow for 575? Okay. As we move through lower school, it becomes more about analysing text types, um, about analysing the elements of sentences to create really strong writers um, that can fully appreciate and fully gain information from what they read, um, but also express themselves through their writing. In the Middle Years Programme, or MYP, students are placed in either Language B, which is Language Acquisition, or Language A, which is Language and Literature courses, depending on whether they are still learning a language or are proficient enough to read and analyze literature in the chosen language. In Language B, Language Acquisition, Students continue to develop their language skills of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. In language A, students focus on analyzing, organizing, producing text, and using language. Throughout the middle years program, students learn conceptually and practically. The board, I want you to rewrite the objective. So rewrite it and improve it by inserting the command term language. In the MYP, there's a big focus on the ATL skills, um, metacognition, learning about themselves as people and as learners. So thinking about what they, uh, what they need in order to learn best so that when they get to 11th grade and they start the DP program, which is a lot of, a lot of work, um, they're ready both in terms of their ability to analyze and write analytically as well as creatively. But then also, of course, um, the workload increases when the DP program starts. So we need to make sure that they're ready for that in terms of the amount of work. In the DP, or the diploma program, and high school level, students are placed based on the courses they have successfully completed in the middle years program. Students in language B courses continue developing their language skills through the study of five themes, identities, 
experiences, human ingenuity, social organization, and sharing the planet. Students develop their knowledge of vocabulary and grammar, as well as their conceptual understanding of how language works, in order to construct, analyze, and evaluate arguments. In the language and literature courses, students explore the crucial role language plays in communication, reflecting experience and shaping the world, and the roles of individuals as producers of language. Throughout the course, students explore the various ways in which language choices, text types, literary forms, and contextual elements all affect meaning. Um, for DP English, we mostly aim to write essays because at the end of the year, um, the exam has two or three essays that we have to write, and it's two papers. And the first paper is um, a comparative essay between two novels that we study during the course. Uh, in which you like try to find a similar theme and then you analyze the books and then the other paper is um, we analyze text types such as like an advertisement or biography and then for HL you have to choose like you get two text types that you have to do and for SL it's only one.